Uh, cool. So we're very glad to have you on the show. Thank you for coming out. Yeah. Uh, we took a bunch of questions from you guys, so we're going to go into those next. Uh, we have a lot queued up, and so hopefully we'll get to yours that you've submitted on. Uh, the first one is from Adam McTierney. Uh, question, did she lose her way? <laughs> Every single day. Every single day. I almost lost my way here. Actually. It's very difficult. <laughs> I was like, am I in the right place? I don't <laughs> know. I was thinking like that would be the funniest thing if I was like completely in the wrong direction. Because uh -huh. then you guys could have just. We could have just. Yeah, she lost her way. Lost sorry, her way. sorry, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the empty desk with that song playing yes. for, for an hour straight, and then they scream. Just just, we would we'll just be sitting here looking sad all the whole time. <laughs> I remember last time when we had Carrie on, I think she also was like, I don't know if I'm in the right spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, that's hard to find. And yeah. especially because when you first come in, you're just like, wait, this doesn't look like This doesn't office. look like we're supposed this to be, yes. This doesn't look like office buildings. No, like, it's what is not. That, what is happening we, here? We can't reveal the curtain too much of where we are. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> ju just know that it's probably not what you expect. Uh, from at Tastro Blood, what was your favorite Ryuko moment from the show? Oh, oh gosh. Uh, anytime she's honestly... Um, interacting with Mako's family. I think it's really fun, uh, especially the dad. I think he's really funny. Um, and he said, Michael Sorge, who plays him in the dad, mm -hmm. is like so hilarious. Um, but yeah, just their interactions and like how she becomes closer to them and yeah. like kind of realizes that even though, you know, they're not her biological family, they become like really close with her. And I just think those moments are really sweet in between all the like fighting and oh, like the Right, you know. the tender moments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I won't give away too much from the story mode for those of you who haven't played it yet, but some of the interactions between those two characters in the story mode are, are like my favorite moments in the story mm -hmm. mode too. Because uh, I hadn't heard uh, Dub Mako yet either until I played the game. Okay, I was like, oh, yeah. this is great. Uh, I'm, this is awesome. Yeah, Christina's great. Uh, from at RB125, who's the one character you voice that you'd hate to get stuck in an elevator <laughs> with? Ooh, you know, as much as I love her, uh, Bernadetta from Free Fire Emblem Three Houses, <laughs> just because she would like somehow try to like hide from me i'm sure in the elevator but she wouldn't be able to because obviously it's just like a tiny right. elevator and she'd probably be screaming the entire time and was, like, it would just be ridiculously awkward oh, you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> probably awesome i'd probably be doing the same thing in the other corner though. okay fair. <laughs> <laughs> however long until you guys escape. yeah nice. uh from at the paragon one out of the main cast, who is your favorite character? Amazing job on voice acting on both the game and anime. Your voice pr fits perfectly with your character. Also, if you play the game, which is your favorite character to play slash fight with? Uh, out of the main cast, I've always really loved Mako. Like, mm -hmm. she's definitely the type of person, if I knew her in real life, I wouldn't like her. But I don't know for some reason, because she's just an animated character, um, I like instantly became attached to her. Mm -hmm. And uh, just her relationship with Yuko, I think, is really great. No wonder you like the scenes where you connected with her. Yeah, yeah, I do, yes. I totally well, get that vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were in, in real life, you would probably be annoying. But because you're yeah, like a yeah, character, yeah, yeah. I can like... And I, I don't can... have to live with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're not actually having her scream and wake you exactly. up in the morning that you need to go to school every day. That'd be, that'd be a rough time. Uh, but I, so I'm really excited about her coming. To oh, me game, too, so yeah. I fight Club Mako is like one of my favorite characters mm -hmm. in the show. I, I speak character, obviously. She's throughout the show, but just that episode. I yeah. Think probably one of the best in the show. Um, but for right now, I played a little bit of it here and there. Um, I like Ryuko, obviously. She's really fun to play as. Um, but I think I was actually better with Sasuke. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I definitely think Sasuke's like yeah. a, a, a better beginner character for people. She's really, really good. Yeah, we'll probably nice. talk about her a bit today as yeah. we're playing because she's sort of like the main character of the of like the story mode in yeah. this game. Um, but cool. That's awesome. Uh, is it, is it ever weird when you're playing the game and you're hearing yourself talk a like that? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I, I've been doing this for like five or six years and now it's uh -huh. still weird every okay. time. Okay. I play a lot of, um, characters that are in like games or shows that I would just normally watch. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I have to like disassociate. Sometimes <laughs> it's really hard when I hear myself and my friends. Cause usually I'm just like, Hey, I know that person. Shut up. You. you know? yeah. <laughs> I think, I think we've talked about it before too, where you're a commentator for fighting game stuff. You do a ton uh -huh. of stuff. And how it's still weird to hear your own voice even after it. a decade I hate it. of, of I doing hate my it. own voice. I do. Yeah. yeah, I still can't get used to it. So. <laughs> all right, so so basically, if you see James at Evo, make sure to just pull up all the match footage. No, and just, no, and just, no. This is my favorite moment, favorite moment of your commentary no, ever. Please don't. So come find James at Evo and be like, "This is my favorite commentary moment," and just oh play it back. Gosh. If anybody does that, I'll feel like I have won the event. <laughs> like, I've convinced somebody from our stream to come and do it to you. I'm going to go hide in my room now because of you, Kenny. I'm just going to be, like, not heading out. Is your stream schedule yeah. on Twitter? If you're going to find out what you're doing? If it was, I'm deleting the video. Right <laughs> That's fair. I apologize. Okay. All right. Uh, next question from at JC Kadena. If you could pick another trigger character to be a guest character in Kill a Kill F, who would it be? Ooh, good question. Um... Uh... I, so 
selfishly, of course, would love Akko, because I also voice mm. Akko from Little Witch Academia. Um, but if I wasn't picking a character that I voiced, um, I think, like, either uh, Kamina or Simone from Girl. Oh, Girl. those are both really good. Yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of, it's sort of Trigger, like, the people from Trigger. Oh, yeah. I, that counts. I, I would argue that counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I get an email from Trigger's lawyers, like, this does not technically count. Not. <laughs> 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 These are chapter statements. In my head, they're the same, yeah. so. Yeah, like, Gurren's, like, one of my, uh, it's, like, one of the earliest anime I can remember watching, like, back back then. Yeah, like, I was, like, even when we were talking about Fight Club Mako, I think I've had a print of Fight Club Mako on my on my wall in my parents' place since, like, high school. Nice. <laughs> back when the anime, like, very, very first aired, wow. like, five or six years ago. So, yeah, Sugar's been, like, I guess a big part of my so anime great. watching experience. Yeah. 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 Cool. I love all their work. Uh, from at Max Oblivion, uh, first off, awesome job with Ryuko's lines and both the anime and if. Uh, you bring so much energy to the character. Between base Ryuko and dual Ryuko, which one did you have more fun with, voicing and gameplay-wise? If you could have Ryuko guest star in another fighting game, what would it be? Ooh, um, I haven't unlocked dual wield Ryuko in my own gameplay yet, so I haven't <laughs> quite gotten to try her out yet. Um, I don't know if I super noticed too much of difference mm -hmm. when voicing them, because it's more of like just different attacks, yeah. um, rather than like a change of personality. Mm -hmm. um, but the attacks are fun. <laughs> I can't wait to actually play her once I have time to like unlock everything. Yeah, I mean, just playing Ryuko is just yeah. the most fun I could ever have. I'm so glad that we got to do this. Like, <laughs> you don't even know. Like, <laughs> so I, I thought like it was, like, done with the show. And it's then almost like a family game. reunion. It is, way. yeah. Um, and it's kind of like, um, for me, it's kind of like um, re getting to revisit what I did. Even mm -hmm. though the story is a little bit different, yeah. it's more Sasuke's point of view. Um, I've always, like, you know, thought about, like, what would it be like if I got to go back and redo? Because Ryuko yeah. was, like, one of the first big things I really yeah, I was yeah. just about to ask. Yeah. Was so, one of the first yeah. things that you've so done getting to home, go yeah. back and like re be almost redo those lines in the <laughs> was like really cool because I, I can see how much I've grown mm -hmm. just yeah. as an actor, as a person. I was actually curious because you said you were from Chicago. Yeah. Uh, how did you get into voice acting and like moving out here? Like, how did that all come about? Oh, lots of luck. <laughs> <laughs> I got really lucky. Um, it's kind of like being in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. um, I took classes um, and I. Uh, Look, you make your own luck, right? Yeah, that's I mean, true. that's Honestly. the thing. Is if you, if you, I mean, if you didn't take the classes, if you didn't yeah, try exactly. and everything, so yeah. I wouldn't yeah. have known. Yeah, so. exactly. But I mean, not to say that you know people who take classes always like get as you know mm -hmm. fast of an opportunity as I did when I came out here. But um, you know, you never know if you don't try. So mm -hmm. just yeah. go for it. Yeah. 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 Oh man, so how long have you been out here for? About eight years. Okay, yeah, that's eight, long, eight man. Years. Well, I'm glad you're now like I, I count that as SoCal local. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You, you're okay, officially, yeah. you're a true I'm definitely resident. acclimated. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Almost right. a whole point. decade. Yeah. At this point, I don't, yeah, I don't you're, miss you're so the weather in Chicago. Oh. I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've uh, there's a big uh, tournament in Chicago that I think we both usually go to. Uh, Comic Con Maker yeah. across the okay. casting. There's, there's a bunch of events out there that uh, we do stuff. Sure. Like. It's a little further out from Chicago. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit What's the name of the city again? St. Charles is where it's at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the weather there is not somewhere I want to uh, yeah, stay forever. Yeah, it's nice to visit. She could be in another fighting game, though. Uh, I don't know. I just love the style of like plays blue and guilty gears. So oh that yeah. Kind of fighter, if you could play Oreo, uh, Oreo, Oreo, Oreo. 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 favorite character, Oreo from Wonder <laughs> Night. Uh, you Aurier, you know what? Oreo <laughs> dunks you all the time in all the fighting games, right. right? I mean, it's the way it works. It was bound to happen eventually. Yeah, yeah. Like a team of like Oreo and Ryuko on the same team. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. That although, would be team although, Oreo although at that point, to, yeah. You'd have to deal with uh, two characters that both have your voice talking to each other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they'd be different enough in personality. <laughs> that was always a thing for me, uh, not to tangent too much, but when I would play Persona 4 Arena, uh, both uh, Narakami and uh, Dachi are voiced yeah. by Johnny and Bosch. Oh, and so yeah, if they yeah, were yeah, fighting yeah. each other, it'd be like, oh, it's the same person. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly a dream, just have a team of yourself. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, totally. I think there's a couple voice actors in BB Tag that do multiple voices too. But uh, like, yeah. I'd have to like dig and find. There's always like totally sidetracked, but one of my favorite scenes in The Simpsons is when Homer is imitating Krusty. Because it's the same guy. Uh, <laughs> and he's like doing a bad crusty impersonation. But it's as the same Homer. person. Yeah, it's, like, it's actually kind of funny. You just jump through a million mental Yeah, I know, right? Sorry, like sorry. All right, back to the. We'll move yeah. on to the next yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, at FaceTime Police, was it difficult to step back into the role of Ryuko since the anime came out several years ago? Ooh, um. Kind of yes, kind of no. Because it, I mean, we have voice references that we go back to, so mm -hmm. we would like listen to. Um, 
some of the stuff we did from the anime, which was actually the voice references, were from pretty early on in the show. Oh, <laughs> the yeah. voice had kind of changed a little bit by the beginning to the end. Um, so we just listened to that and like got back into the character. And and I, you know, I've been still kind of doing her voice at like conventions and stuff. So right. I, I still know yeah. the character. Okay. And um, uh, I periodically will go back and watch Kill a Kill too. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, right Trip down memory lane. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't like too hard, um, but as far as like the game goes, it was a. I thought it was like all tough because you know <laughs> I, I got through the screaming in the initial series, and I you know I joke I joke, but it's actually the truth. Like the show is like eighty percent screaming for me, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. I'm just being really angry. So um, I thought it was all cool because like I didn't lose my voice once mm-hmm. when I did the anime. Like I feel mm-hmm. like I probably came close a few times, but doing the game, I was like, oh, I can do screamings. You know, all the screaming up. You know, I don't need to take breaks. It's fine. Right. But because video game work usually goes a lot faster yeah. than anime, mm-hmm. um, because you know, for anime we get to preview stuff, so that gives you a little bit of break in between. But for video games, it's like do two takes next, next line, line. Yeah, two yeah, takes yeah, next yeah. line, two takes next mm-hmm. line. Um, it wore me out so fast. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. There's a lot of screaming, yeah. especially for Ryuko. Yeah. So, oh man. It's a little rough, but um, yeah. yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a good exercise for <laughs> sure. I guess. Yeah. So yeah. I get to it, yeah. All right, uh, from at Midrush NIC, uh, if you could come up with an, a new alternate color for Ryuko, oh. what would it be? Ooh, that's an interesting question. That's a question. I, hmm. The one that's in the game right now. So uh, for those of you who don't have the game yet, there's three playable colors. There's yeah. like, there are standard colors that they're looking in the show. Uh, there is an this alternate thing. color, and then there's an Arc System Works color. So for Ryuko, oh, yeah. she looks like Ragnar. Yeah, yeah, that was actually, yeah. that's the one I play on. It's so super cool, play, yeah, it's one of my favorites. Lot. A choice though, oh, man. I, I do like the. Um, I mean, it kind of happened in the show a little bit. I mean, not spoilers, not spoilers. Uh-huh. Uh, but like having her and um, Satsuki swap colors, I think um, would be really yeah, cool. Gotcha. Little outfits. Mm-hmm. Other than that, um, I really love the color purple. Mm-hmm. So like seeing her in like a purple combo, I think would be really cool. Yeah, <laughs> I want to so. hear what Senkets sounds like when he's in purple. <laughs> like he's trying to be intimidating. He has like like. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, or yeah, exactly. Yeah. Pink Senkets. <laughs> Uh, we have a question from at really big Ma. Why isn't the trademark screwed up take quack available in the voice library for Yuko? So that's uh, gonna take some explaining. Yeah, right. that's right. <laughs> I um I was so like nervous when I first started doing Kill a Kill. Like I was for sure I was like I'm gonna get recast. Like there's no way. They're gonna do <laughs> so I would just get like really nervous. So anytime I'd mess up because you know it was one of my first things and I was trying to make a good impression. But anytime I would mess up to just kind of like get the nerves out of my system, I would just go like. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a really stupid quacking noise. I don't know why. And the director like caught on to it after a while. And um, he made me do, I think, a few bloopers. I don't know if a lot of them ended up in the actual blooper reel mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. out there on the internet. But um, he, yeah, made that kind of a running joke with me. For a, while. So um, a lot of meh, meh, meh. Yeah, yeah. So the answer to the question is because now you're not as nervous, you don't quack as much. Yeah, yeah, kind that's, of, yeah. That's the true answer. That's, that's, yeah, it's a growing. <laughs> I think that is a growing experience. Yes, and just, exactly. oh, everyone's matured as, as actors, and, and now we quack. I don't quack anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now anymore. I feel like you have to bring it back, right? Uh, you know, bring it back. Yeah, or, or, or incorporate Special it. Special requests at conventions. Has there been a character that you've incorporated that to? You know? Yeah. 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 I, I like the word yet. I like the emphasis yeah, on yet. Yeah. Like it's going to happen eventually. I want, I I want to hear done. Gretzko do it once. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear her do it once. Just and then we're good. We're good. So. <laughs> we'll need a, a, a duck character in the show. and then yeah. just say that to them. Tell them to throw a, a duck. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Until, like, guilty or something. Oh, there you go. There you go. Call me. Call me. <laughs> From at Vagabond of Canto. Outside of story mode, to avoid spoilers who haven't played the game yet, what was your favorite line to record in either the game or the anime? Ooh, um, actually, probably my favorite line. I forget how you trigger it. It's one of the um, specials, I think. It pops up at some point. I managed to trigger it once in the demo, but I couldn't figure out how to do it mm-hmm. any other point in time. Um, but it, we actually, uh, you know how, the song isn't called Don't Lose Your Way, it's called Before My Body is yes. Dry. The, like, mm-hmm. don't lose your, the typical mm-hmm. Don't yeah. Lose Your Way song. Um, I use it as kind of like a mantra for like me, and then like I'll <laughs> sign it on people's things when I do autographs nice. at conventions and stuff. Because it's just like an inspirational yeah. thing, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, we actually managed to fit that into the game. Oh! Because I never said it in the show. Uh-huh. But mm. we somehow needed like to fill space 
in one of the lines, and we couldn't figure out like exactly how to localize it, mm -hmm. so we just threw "Don't Lose Your Way." In. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the it's a Tenkan Fun side, "Don't Lose Your Way." That's okay. It. Yeah. Nice. I have not triggered that yet, so now I'll have to try to find it. Yeah, I know. It's a little Easter. If anybody in chat knows how to trigger that voice line, go ahead and drop that, and then we'll try to replicate it on the show. Yeah. Oh man, that's ooh, this is a bold question from at Evan Axelboy. How often would Ryuko say the heck word? All the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, as someone who had to dig through uh, the entire game's uh, script for the ESRB submission, mm -hmm. there's a lot of raunchy words in the game. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of heck in, yeah. There's, there's quite a few uh, hex and and more severe than that. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. like, are you allowed to say that? I don't think so. Maybe stuff. not on stream. Yeah. Because uh -huh, uh -huh. I can think of my favorite Ryuko line, and I don't know if it's, if it's, if it's stream kosher, so uh, maybe Fair I'll just enough. do it in the game. Lots of hex. <laughs> um, from at Madame Momster, that is a good name. Yeah. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how murderous on the throat is a full mm. session of playing Ryuko? Wow. Uh, for the video game, way worse than the anime. Yeah. Um, f well, for a while for the anime, we were doing four hours, which is like the max you can do. Mm -hmm. uh, they make you do uh, for for uh, anime specifically mm -hmm. and video games. Um, I had to move it down to two hours for the oh. anime because it was just getting Jeez. too rough on me. Because I have other sessions to do, mm -hmm. and you like, yeah. I can't, especially if it's, I'm doing a high pitched character, like, I, I can't oh, yeah, do yeah, it, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. if my throat's all scratchy at the beginning you of the day. You lose your voice, like, all the yeah. high pitched. Oh, yeah, they just yeah. disappear. Yeah. Um, but for the video game, yeah, it was definitely more intense because, like I said, like, we work at a quicker pace yeah. and we're doing more lines at once. So, like, just for reference, for anime, like, Usually they want you to do anywhere from like 20 to 40 lines per hour. For video games, it's about like maybe 100 to 200. Mm, it's really fast. Oh yeah. So it's just a constant shift. Okay. Uh, and you I get thought, that's like more than double then. Yeah. yeah okay. Well, because we don't have to waste the time on previewing. So, right. Because yeah. yeah. we didn't watch There's no footage video. or anything. We didn't yeah. watch footage for this mm -hmm. one to, mm -hmm. to dub the picture or anything. Right. We just all did it on the fly. So yeah. Matching timing, of course, but like as much as we could. Because that's but, one of the hardest things yeah. for games because like... For the anime, you usually get the anime. You can mm -hmm. watch the scene a little bit. For the games, they might not have even made the cutscene yeah. yet. Yeah, right? yeah exactly. so it's, it's usually really yeah. early when those yeah. lines are recorded. Okay, yeah. okay. Dang. That's, I imagine that's rough. So on a scale of 1 to 10, probably a 12 on something. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's fair enough. Uh, from at Hierarchy, hierarchy of Meme, uh, Ryuko is such a badass and angry character, but is also very caring and uh, shows such for the people in her life who matter to her, like Mako. Of the original series, in terms of how it affected Ryuko's character, what was your favorite episode to record, and why? I'm gonna go back to Fight Club. Yeah. I think it's like episode mm -hmm. seven or so. Yeah, I think something it's like that. early. It's like it's four, four or five, I think. Oh, something. Yeah, yeah. It's like it pretty was. early on. Um, but yeah, I just I really love that because um, it kind of like because up until that point, um, especially well, up until that point, and then afterwards, Mako is kind of like the person who kind of keeps Ryuko in check a mm -hmm. little bit and kind of keeps her down to earth. But that episode. Um, it's kind of the opposite. So yeah. Ryuko gets to like mm -hmm. show how much Mako means to her, and like you know, Mako kind of loses her way a little mm -hmm. bit, you know, for uh, throwing that reference back in there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's it's just really cool to see like Ryuko have that turnaround and like show you how much she like actually cares for Mako and all she's done mm -hmm. for her. So. I mean, I can I can sense kind of like the emotion. Like, how hard is it to do lines like that when you when they're like super emotional oh. like that? Uh, for me, if I really connect with the character uh -huh. and like empathize with them, it's uh -huh. a little easy for me. Just oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I, I love my characters as if they're my children. <laughs> so when they're hurting, I'm like. Oh. You're right. <laughs> I, I I just recently went back and watched that ep that singular episode again because yeah. um, it is it's also my favorite episode of the yeah, show. It's really good. Um, and it takes me back to like. Mm, watching it with my friends like way back five or six years ago and getting super excited for it yeah. but it's like I can't watch that scene without getting choked up I and it's like so <laughs> was it was it when you were with your friends like in high school were you guys like not looking at each other yeah like, oh, I'm exactly. not crying I'm not, I'm not crying right now you know like you didn't want to see the other person with a tear because then you'd all start crying yeah. Yeah. You, need, you need like the cubicle divider yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. just don't look around uh, <laughs> alright uh, another question pretty related uh, from at damage mode, how many bottles of water do you put through when recording, uh, oh, when voicing for Ryuko? Gosh, at least one or two full bottles of water. If, well, usually like, I have like the little tiny ones mm -hmm. now, so like about three or four. Yeah. Uh, would equal about two, and then like a cup of tea. Yeah. yeah. I mean, do you ever do anything like the honey, like drinking? Honey yeah, I or put anything? like I put honey in my tea. Okay. Um, okay. I've occasionally just 
French just traits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's like a, a cough syrup, a uh, Chinese cough syrup called Ninja Pei Bakoa that a lot of voice actors use now. I know that. It's, like, it's, a, it's, it's a cough syrup. <laughs> oh, yes, treat. all the commentators yeah. also yeah. use this. Yeah. No, no, no. They're very familiar. Asia, it tastes like medicine. It's gross. <laughs> um, but you can mix it in tea, you can drink it straight, okay, like okay. just a spoonful, not too much because it's pretty sugary. Yeah, no, because yeah. I mean, for like honey, yeah, I mean, we've chugged honey oh, yeah, on sure. the yeah, commentary I table yeah. plenty of times. So, yeah. It's, Kind of gross, but kind of good. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. as long as it helps. <laughs> uh, we have one from at Greg Oreo five hundred two. Actually, Oreo, Oreo yeah, we're, 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 up a name. we're prescient here. Yeah, <laughs> so there you go. Uh, first off, I love your work, Erica. Uh, Bernadetta is best girl. I was wondering, <laughs> how did you get your foot in the door for voice acting? Okay. Uh, it was uh, kind of like I said earlier. It's just, uh, I took classes. Um, they happened, they happened to like me, so they sent me. They sent me an audition. Uh, I didn't book it. Uh, it's for League of Legends mm. on my birthday, which oh. was like the coolest thing because I really liked League of Legends <laughs> okay, at the time. Okay. Um, didn't book it, which was kind of sad, but I was like, eh, the character's not really for me anyway, so I totally get it. And then I booked a Walla session, which is like you are with a group of people and you're basically doing like all the background uh, talking and like crowd scenes. Like additional like, voices. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of. It's not quite additional voices because mm-hmm. you don't really fully get heard. Um, but I hated that. It was like, I don't want to anymore. <laughs> and luckily, I didn't have to. Well, I do some occasionally uh, now um, when they need extra stuff. But um, yeah, it was kind of. It wasn't until. What was it? I think until Maggie the Lamb for Magic came out and um, they let me audition. And. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry. That's not true. Back, back up. <laughs> I actually played Pac Man. Pac Man was well, a white oh, okay. person. What? Oh, really? Yeah, they wanted a voice match. From the TV series, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. so the they one had, from a long time ago, yeah, from the, like the eighties. Well, not right? like yeah. that version. Oh, okay, but it's like okay. it's basically Pac Man's son. So they oh, did a show based on okay, him trying okay. to find his parents or something like that. <laughs> and then they made a video game, but for some reason they decided to do the video game in Los Angeles and just wanted voice matches. Okay, okay. So I got to do the voice, like I auditioned for That's the voice cool. match, and they liked okay, it. Okay, there you go. So then they're like, hey, you do boy voices, we need boy voices right now, so that was kind of like my in, mm-hmm. so it's like they needed new boy voices at the time, <laughs> yeah. so I was like, cool, and then I played boys for like a year until they oh, finally dang. let me audition for girls, <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, hey, like, I, I mean, how exciting was that? Yeah, that. it was pretty cool, like, I mean, I don't know how many people play the game, but <laughs> just being able to play such an iconic character in any yeah. form, like, everybody does. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's pretty. I cool. grew. I mean, I'm I'm super old school gamer, yeah, so yeah. I grew up with Pac Man for sure. I'm like wearing a Pac Man shirt under my over oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> like right That's now, funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the note of like, I don't uh, believe you. By the way, take off your oh, shirt. Sure. No, 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 no. You don't have to. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah, I'm kidding. I'll prove it afterwards. <laughs> okay. uh, it's very stylish and cool, and not at all lame. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but like, was that something that you had known that you wanted to do your whole life, voice, voice acting? Um, it wasn't until like I started noticing video games when mm-hmm. I was really getting into video games mm-hmm. like so I was about like 12 or 13 okay, when okay. like what Final Fantasy 10 came out nice and okay. that was like the th- I because I love Final Fantasy games right, yeah. so that was like the one that was like ooh, this I looks cool this. I need to like <laughs> look up like what this is about and mm-hmm. stuff like that so yeah okay it's it's hilarious to me because you're on the note of like uh maybe characters that people don't know you as much for like the thing that I know you for is from uh, the first game that I ever worked on. I did uh, like game testing on Dark Rose Valkyrie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which is a title that I don't think many people are going to yeah, be like, oh. I remember that one. Yeah. But yeah, to me, it's like, oh, it's like the first game I ever worked on. Yeah. Like, I was doing great for it. And so it's like, it got a very special place to me. Okay. So when I when I see like DB Tag, I'm just like, oh, it's all the Dark Rose Valkyrie voice actors. Yeah. <laughs> it's all these people returning again, even though it's like, they did a whole bunch of other stuff besides just that one. It's like yeah. the one that like most resonates with me. I mean, what, what people, pl- it's always the one. Yeah. <laughs> what platform was that on? That was on PS4, PS4 and oh, okay, the, okay. the thing I worked on is they did a Steam port. Oh, so okay, that was gotcha, my first gotcha. like games industry okay. job as I was doing like game testing at Idea Factory. Yeah, nice. So yeah. uh, it was super fun to work on it. Uh, I still but, play that one. It seemed really cool. Yeah, uh-huh, definitely. It, yeah. Uh, it'll always have a special place to me because it's like, oh, that's the first thing I did, <laughs> like my new mother or whatever. Um, last question, I think, uh, from Matt Gill. Do you have any funny moments or bloopers to share from the voice recording process for Kill a Kill It? Um, no quacks already. No quacks. We established that. <laughs> I gotta retroactively go back to the recording session and do that now. Um, <laughs> I can't remember any. I think a, a lot of it was just kind of like me and the director Alex Mendeva just kind of like 
reminiscing about like, yeah. stuff Aww. in the show and stuff like that. So I, it, the process moved a little bit too fast for us to like to really catch up. Yeah. So you had like the same uh, like the entire same cast, including like, the yes, director. Yes, it was all all the same cast. Uh, the director slash writer Alex Von David, yeah. which is like nice. I, I was kind of like if he doesn't get to do it, like I don't know if I want to do it. Yeah, he, he made mm-hmm. so much of the show. Like he's mm-hmm. the reason why the characters feel so like fleshed out and like have their own original voices. Um, which I think is really important when it comes yeah. to localization and stuff like that. So it is just so cool to like get to work with him again. I've worked with him before in other stuff, but I definitely think Kill a Kill would not have been the same without him. Was that the first project you guys worked together on? Kill a Kill, yeah, actually. Okay. Yeah. Mm, nice. Yeah. Okay. So it meant, it meant a lot cool. to have everybody back. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. Uh, I think we're going to take a quick break while we set up the PS4 to play a little bit of Kill a Kill it for you guys. <laughs> uh, James and I are going to be sort of going through the mechanics of the game. Uh, we'll be talking about some tactics since Evo is this weekend. You'll get to see the Kill a Kill tournament, uh, and so you'll see a lot of this in action. So give us a couple minutes, and we'll be right back. Sparkle. 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 That's the new name for that. All right, welcome back, guys. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to be going over some of the mechanics, and I think James and I will play a little bit of uh, matches. Uh, once we, uh, we've sort of taken James through some of the, the core gameplay aspects. Uh, so if you guys have got a chance to play the tutorial, you know that you have your attack button that gives you the, the combos you hit over and over again. Uh, triangle gives you projectiles. You can also charge them. They have different effects. Uh, like Satsuki's charge projectile is delayed. Right. So she can use it for like Oki uh-huh. like and come in cool. and do this stuff. Yeah. Um, the sparkly attack, as you so adequately named it, is <laughs> circle. Uh, and that's the unblockable. Uh, so sort of think like a Dragon Ball Fighter is like, uh, like Dragon Rush, where right. you, you get a combo yeah. afterwards. Okay, okay. Uh, it also has a bunch of movement options, similar to Dragon Ball Fighters, the homing dash. Uh, you can attack your opponent uh, anywhere from anywhere on the screen when you're in the air on the ground. Gotcha. And you can cancel that into any of these movement options. Yes. You can also sidestep, forward, or back dash, and you can cancel a lot of moves into that, including block. Uh, so it's a sort of basically go over the, the pressure of this game. Uh, for people who've been playing 2D fighters, it's pretty similar to that, where you'll be blocking someone as they do their attack string. Um, so come forward and start attacking me. Mm-hmm. Uh, the difference to kill a kill from regular fighting games is that rather than just sitting there and blocking, you're, you, you want to dash cancel out of block. So if you're blocking, they can't open you up, right? So mm-hmm. you know they have to go for like that break attack. Right. Uh, so when you basically have to read when it's coming and then dodge out of the way. Uh, so that's where a lot of the game's pressure comes forward, is, is you know, doing your attack string, and then you can stagger to try to catch them right. from sidestepping. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, you can also um, sort of faint moves as well, uh, like, like uh, there, like you so can like... You can cancel the startup. Yeah, you can, you can start up the very startup uh, if you're quick. Okay. Ah, look at that. Okay. Yes, yeah. Nice. Okay. So if you, if you know they're looking for that, for that indicator, you, right. you, you do that and then watch them dodge and then like, hit them. Um, dash attack, dash attack them, them, yeah. Okay. Uh, it has universal uh, command normals as well, and so if someone's in the air, up or down, an attack is that anti-air attack. So if I come at her, uh, oh, if I come at you and you do it, uh, a little bit early. Perspective, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Perspective's tough, yeah. yeah. Here, I'll go to the side, like a little bit here. There you go. There you go. So you get a big like dragon punch sort of yeah, thing into a big combo. combo yeah. Look at that. Already. Super big damage, uh, and then left or right and the attack button is a tracking oh, move. So if you yeah, play like Tekken, yeah, yeah. Uh, it'll, it'll or Soul Calibur, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it'll like beat the side steps right. if okay, they're trying gotcha. to do it. Yeah, can I combo off of that? Yes, oh, you get a full combo off of it. Oh, nice. Okay. So those are the core buttons of the game. Yeah, so it um, feels like a lot of this really is just reading of the moves. Yes, absolutely. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, sort of depending on what your character's toolkit is. Uh, You'll be wanting to do different things in neutral. Uh, like Satsuki and Ryuko are sort of the uh, Ryu and Ken of the game. Uh, they're very straightforward, uh, really good buttons, lots of big damage. Uh, but other characters, uh, like uh, like the zoning characters, obviously want to stay really far away. Uh, so to sort of go over what I think uh, the meta of this game might develop into, because it is very early, the game's only been out for a week. Um, meter is super important in this game. Uh, to me, it reminds me a lot of BB Tag, okay. uh, where uh, similar to the cross gauge from that game, uh, your meter. I love that pose, by the way. Satsuki, like, oh. <laughs> like, like flexing on you. Um, this game also has a burst function, right? So if you're getting comboed and hit L1 and R1 mm-hmm. at the same time, you'll burst them off of you. Oh, but it takes half of your bar. It takes half of your bar, and it puts you in meter cooldown. So it's very similar to the cross tag battle, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, uh, okay. uh, you know, burst in that game. And just like in that game, this game is insanely high damage. So. 
if you have lots of meter, even like a basic combo, uh, like if I have like a level two Satsuki, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I just hit you like a regular attack, and I do like my auto combo into a super. Uh, lots of supers in this game will wall splat. So you get a combo oh, afterwards as well. Oh, jeez, okay. And so that's I 50 just meter. lost half of my life. Absolutely. Okay. Uh -huh. And if I have another 50 meter, just go I can tag onto another super at the end. Right. And then that's like 80%. Right. So it's important to kind of match the meter. If you get hit by a big combo, then you burst. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You kind of match meter for yeah, meter. Yeah, meter for meter. Like right. if you see they have lots and lots of bar, like mm -hmm. that next hit's really going to hurt. Right. So how do I do the supers? Uh, when you have 50 meter, it's on the corner of the screen. Oh, it's yes. L1 yeah. and a button. Uh, so for most characters in the game, uh, square is an attack super, so just a, does a chunk of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, triangle is a projectile super, mm -hmm. and most of those also wall splat. Okay. And so uh, it's going to push me to the wall, and then you'll get an opportunity to, to like homie dash in combo. Yeah, just like that. And that's sort of how an uh, easy way to extend combos. Right. Um, so for most characters in the game, they can do a basic auto combo into super and does good damage. But there's also a lot of more complicated combo routes, and so I'll try... What's the special attack break? Oh, uh, that's the unblockable super. Oh, okay. okay. So they're, they're pretty slow, um, uh, but they're unblockable. The wrong button. Yeah, that's there you go. Yeah, okay. So I can't block that. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. okay. And then you'll be able to like, hone it. Same with... Uh, Sati's is super good, it's like a, it's an AoE around her. And then it also wall splats. I think she has one of the best breaks in the game. Bam, Ow. and you you know get more Damn, stuff out of it. Nice. Uh, so it's very very meter dependent. Um, different auto combos build like different amounts of meter. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll try doing a a, a Ryuko route that I know is a little bit more complex. Okay. Um, so there's a, a charge projectiles in the game, right? Uh, like these, and those are wall splat. So if you're near the corner of Ryuko, you can link her. Oh, oh okay, I'll hold that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Vibration. I, I said almost went off the stage. That psycho mantis, right? There. <laughs> Uh, it's, it's tough. Yeah. You have to uh, do like a almost yeah, max charge of her projectile. Yeah, because also the thing too, doing this, it rotates a little Yeah, bit, absolutely. So, yeah. I think that was it? No, not, not quite. Okay. I'm getting exposed for not playing Rico. <laughs> <laughs> She's not my main character. Come on, no, just kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, I'll, give her one, I'll give her one more try and I'll give up, and then, and then people in, in the chat can say I'm yeah. garbage. But that's the cool part though. Is there you go, is, oh, yeah. Okay. And I think she can attack super on the end. Uh, there's no wall there, so I might not connect to it. Yeah. Okay. That's the idea, gotcha, right? Gotcha. So there's 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 routes other than just matching auto combo that yeah. require some more tricky timing to give you lots more damage. So a lot of stuff to experiment. There's a lot of stuff to experiment with. Uh -huh. uh, I think one of the core aspects of the game that people are gonna see in competitive play is this dollar level system. So uh, like in Guilty Gear, if you have 50 meter, you can gold burst essentially when you okay. do that big AOE. Yeah. Uh, so if you combo into it you trigger Bloody Valor, which is this rock, paper, scissors mode where both players sort of wager what they want. Okay. So as the attacker, I'm picking oh, yeah, yeah, one yeah, of yeah, these yeah, things okay, that I okay. want, and then every time the attacker wins the exchange, uh, they'll get a, a Valor level on their uniform. Mm -hmm. So earlier I was playing with like a level, uh, like a level two Satsuki. Mm -hmm. So I'll just do like her basic auto combo so we can see how much damage it does. Right. So that does two, 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 zero damage. Mm -hmm. At level one Valor level, her damage gets increased. So she should do a little, she gets this extra cinematic. Oh, dang, okay. So it does an extra thousand damage. <laughs> so okay, yeah, th yeah, yeah, those yeah. little uh, buffs uh, are definitely going to add up. Okay. Um, so well, what about at level two? At level two, uh, so oh, basically serious. for every character in the game, level oh. one is a character specific buff. So for Satsuki and Ryuko, they're pretty vanilla. Satsuki just does more damage. Oh, Ryuko, okay, her okay. movement speed is drastically increased. Gotcha, like, gotcha. I'll, I'll put you at level one, too. Oh, yeah, and yeah, then her yeah, movement yeah. speed's oh, a lot dang, better. Dang, dang. Oh, oh yeah. Her, her sidesteps get crazy oh, good. Oh, my God. I can, I can sidestep forever. She's, she's really hard to catch. She's oh, my one. God. Um, so they're really straightforward and easy to use, right? right. Uh, for some of the more obscure characters in the game, um, like uh, Gamaguri or, or um, uh, ooh, like Ragyo, they're a little more obtuse. Uh, at level two, one of your supers gets buffed. So for Satsuki, her attack super gets longer animation and more damage. It's a lot chunkier, and she gets this extra cut this at the game, end. This game is so pretty. <laughs> it's really pretty. I think uh, Ryuko's is her break super, so do uh, L1 and circle. And I think he gets an extra animation at the end. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah she like, punches you at the end. Nice. Uh, and I did a, a chunk of damage. Yeah. Uh, and then at level three, you have passer, passive Ooh. meter regeneration. Oh, dang. Uh, so I have to yeah. turn it to zero so we can see. Right. Uh, your meter will passively regenerate. And then once you have 100 meter, 
instead of uh, Bloody Valor, you get instant kill. So, as I mess it up. Uh, and you can oh, combo into oh, it, and then it instantly wins the game. Not even like the round, like the game's over. Jeez! Okay, so, okay. so basically, the but way it's it's hard to get by. Basically, you, you have to win that rock paper scissors mode three times, right. which is pretty difficult to do. Right. Um, so I can see this game sort of going in two directions for what like optimal play will be. Mm -hmm. There's just use your meter for damage because the game's very high damage. Even right. if you're not at like, even if you don't have uh, uh, any stars in the uniform, if you have meter, you have damage. Um, or you go full grappler mode. And, and always combo into uh, into Bloody Valor right. and go and go for three stars at instant right. kill. And I'm not okay. sure what people will be going for this weekend at Evo. Uh, I guess it depends how how godlike your RPS shenanigans are. I'm terrible at RPS, by the way. So, and so there you go. It's dial of a one, yeah. normal attack boost. And if I win the exchange, we do it again. Oh jeez. Okay. So you have a chance to get level three uniform off of one sequence. Right. But if the, if you uh -huh. ever lose, you take damage and return to neutral. Okay. Okay. So it's very. So the, the person who got, you know, who initiated it, if they win, it goes again. Yes. But the person who got caught by it wins. It stops. It stops, and then the attacker takes a little bit of damage. Gotcha. Uh, if you tie, you stop, but the attacker still gets their buff. Oh, so it's okay. sort of like, at least it's over, but you know. Right. So really, all you have to do to win in one sequence is win the RPS twice, and then at least tie. Right. So mm -hmm. if you're really good at RPS, you can definitely do it. Yeah. Uh, but no obviously. If you tie, then you know you don't get any damage or anything like that. So it, you yeah. have to get another one, right? Okay, got it. So those are the basic functions of the game. Um, I think we'll do a little bit of versus mode. I'll sort of commentate like uh, the match uh, as we're playing it to give some people ideas of what's going on. I remember uh, we were showing this game off at uh, CEO and mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was Flux and Apology Man were at the booth for a lot of the weekend right. playing the game. I see my meter draining right now. Oh, it's because it's, it's a training mode. Yeah, it's a training mode. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I remember I played a bunch of games with Flux, and he's a much better fighting player than me, but I was better at Arkham Scissors. So, <laughs> so every time we play it, he's like, I'm gonna lose. Like, I know. I know I'm not gonna, I'm not. And he's like, this is why I can't play Grapplers. Like, I, I would never be able to. All right, so let's go back to versus mode. All right, all right. And then I'm gonna pick some of the, uh, oh, it's under the versus, free battle. Uh, I'm gonna pick some of the more obscure characters to sort of narrate some of what their uh, mechanics are like, because. Sure. Uh, a lot of them are pretty unique. Should I try one of the other characters? Yeah, go right ahead. Right. We'll, we'll go through like, the, as many characters as we can on the roster. Uh, we'll do uh, the big boy matchup. I still need to figure out what everyone's uh, arc colors are as well. I, I I can guess about half of them, and the other ones I'm like, I, I need, I I need to see. I actually thought Ryoko was, uh, wasn't that, wasn't, he, wasn't she supposed to be Soul, or is it, is it Ragna? She's Ragna. Yeah, oh, she has the okay. white hair, so oh, she's Ragna. Okay. Uh, okay. Satsuki is Kai. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought they were going to do a Soul Kai thing. Yeah, yeah totally. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, to sort of talk about why I think that the Valor level is more important for certain characters than others, mm -hmm. um, Gamagori is a resource-based character where when he hurts himself with triangle, he gets that percentage meter. Oh, okay. And then he gets okay. crazy whip normals that are like super, super good. Okay. But if he has no meter, then he has this really wimpy punch right. that is awful, and he and really can't do anything. I don't really have a projectile I actually yeah. use my triangle, I'll, unless I charge it up. Yeah, you get like a full screen like stab. Uh, that wall splats. Okay. Yeah. And then I can go in after you. Mm -hmm. Except my homing dash is a little bit slower. Um, so, yeah. uh, Go ahead and activate his uh, Bloody Valor. Uh, and, uh, L1 and R1. That's right. There you go. Okay. And then uh, I just won't pick a button, so go ahead and hit any button, and then you'll get your level 1. Okay. His level 1 buff is he gets uh, better dashes. Uh, and so you, you will see how. Uh, you can also skip this with X, too, to if you've seen him before. That's cool. So now he has uh, Shingen Step. Uh, and then I'll just pick an option now. I shouldn't have picked an option just so we can <laughs> Well, we'll see if your RPS is good. Yeah. And... Uh, hey, okay. Oh, okay, we'll take okay. that. Okay, okay. So now, if you do your forward to back dash, uh, and hold it down... Oh, dang, okay, okay. He's super fast. Yeah. Uh, how fast is his uh, homing dash now? Okay, so still the same speed. Yeah. But the side dash is a lot much better now. He also can teleport during his auto combos. Uh, so like hitting like square over and over again, and then ending with like a, a circle. Um, there you oh, go. Yeah. yeah, he gets like the like teleport behind you, like Dragon Ball Fighter style. Yeah, okay. uh, so when I'm charging a projectile, can I like cancel into a dash or something like that? Uh, I think you might be committed. 
No, you oh, can't yeah. stop. Oh, yeah, sweet. Might be character dependent. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if that comes. Oh, it's too far. <laughs> I think he's a great beginner character. Uh-oh. Oh, I just died. Unblockable. Unblockable, unblockable. yeah. Oh, and I got a mask. I'm super dead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have big white health. Okay. Oh, okay. You tricked me. <laughs> you were trying to make me think, oh, that was your unblockable right there. That, yeah, that was my, like, oh, uh, bloody 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 bloody. Oh, yeah. okay. So I'll see if I can land mine. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not good enough. Uh, so, for Gabagori, he can only charge up to like 100% of wow. his meter there. Right. Uh, and he dies from Guard Clone as well. Okay. So he gets armor attacked. Once he gets level 1, he gets 300% 300, uh, 300 instead of 100. So his like, damage percentage, like his, uh, his ability to do damage is crazy high. Right. So he's the kind of character where I feel like you kind of need at least one star for him to be really scary. So when you're just whipping yourself like that, you're just doing damage to yourself? I'm doing damage to myself and building that percentage. Yeah. And then you can use the Guard Break on me and it'll beat it. So that's how you, you beat Gamagoris. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Ow. <laughs> he just does a lot more damage when you build up that. Percentage. Yeah, basically the more percentage you have, like the more damage he's going to be able to get. So he, he's very much a grappler boy to me, where I'm like, oh, if you win the RPS, he's really, really good, but otherwise he kind of struggles. And then you can just basically burst as many times as you need to. Basically. Yeah. So he has really easy combos in a Bloody Valor too, which is why I think we want him to use it. Okay, okay. But if your RPS is bad... If your RPS is bad, then he's not the character for you. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Evidently. Yeah, which is surprising to me because that's very rare. <laughs> so you're anti-airing me basically when I hold yeah. dash like that, right? Okay. And of course I can cancel the homing dash if I wanted to, basically. So mm -hmm. I can basically fake it like that. Oh, that's right, I have to hit you with yeah. that. That's right, okay. Ow, that he's at crazy, crazy range. Yeah. He has armor, uncertain attacks too. So he needs to be careful when to burst. He, he's very bunga when he has that percentage. Yeah, I don't like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's my main character and nobody I'm enjoys done, fighting him. <laughs> I'm done. I was playing one of my friends from uh, Chicago on that play and he was like, I really love this game. What do, what do I do? And I'm just like, <laughs> it's like uh, use lots of guard breaks. Gamagori struggles against uh, zoners, who just stay as far away as possible, okay. or uh, characters with really fast break attacks. Because gotcha. he can't really dodge out of them too easily. Giving away some evil winning tactics. Oh, absolutely. Here. I got I to let him know. I can't let the grappler win the major. <laughs> like, I'll be upset. Uh, so I'll go over Ragyo as well. She's the boss character of the game. She's yeah. one of the more technical characters. Both these characters are very technical. Um, so for Nonon, she's like the dedicated zoner. Uh, mm -hmm. So she okay. leaves Ouroboros on the field. Uh, so if you charge up her triangle attack to max, uh, a bunch of her attacks will leave these orbs on the field. Oh, and then yes. once they're there, you can walk into them. Oh dang, I can do all sorts of cool things. She has a lot of crazy uh, combo routes. And then it'll start doing orbs around you. Oh dang. Uh, so okay. it should like protect yeah, you from someone yeah. going in. Oh, dang. And then once you have them on the field, uh, they enhance her other attacks. So she like leaves them on the field and then stands behind them. Right. And then if she shoots a projectile through that orb, the orb gets picked up and travels with it. Oh, so yeah. she's really, really complex. Um, her like... Uh, so if I even jump and shoot an orb... Yeah, it's some, it's certain moves will trigger it. Okay. Um, so it's like her supers, some of her uh, like... Um, now that you have it, go ahead and try right. shooting it out. Like her like, oh, triangle oh, projectiles. Yeah. I think it might be a combo. Oh, one. dang. Okay. Yeah. She even gets projectile combos. Yes, she gets she gets like projectile okay. combos. It okay. like shoots out after a, a period of time. One of the cool things I'm just noticing here is I can shoot a fireball and actually dash cancel mm -hmm. it too. So she's very very mobile, and then she has a good anti air as well, okay. um, because like Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, this will go through like weak projectiles, uh, but that's a really really strong projectile. Okay, gotcha. So and it reaches far. It's too. very very good. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. I like and then, just like Nonon, -non, uh, I can charge up my projectiles and also dash cancel them. So they, they, they fire out after I let go of the button, uh, or if I dash cancel. You can use that to get in as well, right? Okay, I can dodge You can either dodge them, or if you do the homing dash through them, um, they'll go through them. The, the way to beat that with her is while you're charging, you can attack. Oh, so you can okay, bait them in the okay. super dash and you get a gotcha, combo. Gotcha, gotcha. So she's really okay. annoying because right. you're you're basically always and then she is like Oki, which is, is rare in this a, game. Is that just a regular attack that she has? The, 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 
the red beams, basically? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So it, like, drags her, like, some towards uh, you. Okay. So she's also a very tricky character. She has, like, really good, uh, like, full range confirming supers. Oh, dang. That, like, teleport to you. Okay. But she is very, very slow. She's Absolutely, yeah. She she reminds me of Hilda. Or she can cancel into like guard break. So if you're like trying to block. Oh, that was really good. That was really nice. Oh, well, even her X's kind of shoot projectiles. I mean, even her square shoots yeah. projectiles as well. Yeah. So the, you can't dash through her, her square right. ones. Uh, right. Um, okay. But they don't go as far. They're closer right. to Jones. Oh, I even got a giant beam too, an unblockable beam. Oh, that hit me. I was, I was setting up. Uh, oh, dang! <laughs> it was like a schmuck, dude. Like, it was like a bullet hell kind of game there. Oh, oh. nice. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm gonna run. <laughs> oh, I was like, first I burst. Oh, yeah, I couldn't do it. Okay, okay. Come on. Come back. Come back. Come out. Uh -oh. Uh oh. No, no. Hey, there you go. That's that's how you can tell us the Zora matchup is the way to time out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. Okay, okay. All right, so I'm going to go back to Satsuki and. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll go back to Ryoko. And, and go okay. ham. And all right, all right. So you, you can po probably see again in, in real matches how much damage this game can break out. I also do like the fact that they have uh, the customized wind clothes and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. Every single matchup in the game has a unique uh, dialogue. Oh, nice. Fun, okay, yes. okay. I don't know if the stream can hear it like right now. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, okay. I'm pretty sure they can, but they all have unique intros and outros, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. We'll let uh, the Sati and Ryuko and Rock, because they'll, <laughs> they'll, they'll smack talk each other. And also, we should just see the Kai color, because it's like my favorite color. Oh, in the game. okay. Did you pick that? Yeah, now? I okay, picked that with Sati, yeah. I should have picked the, the Ragnarok. The Ragnarok. That's okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's got to be the character unique intros. Yeah. I, just, yeah, I just saw a glimpse of the Kai color. Mm -hmm. okay. That's so good. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So this game will be uh, a lot of positioning your character so that you'll combo them into a corner because most of your supers are wall splat. Right. It's a lot of uh, jockeying for like the wall position. Um, a lot of uh, trying to read when they're going to do those break attacks on you. Uh, I'm expecting a lot of. Um, some characters get a little bit of OP. Hugo did a lot of damage too. Even without a <laughs> Yes. Oh, I'm down. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you caught me, I'm like, fuck. Oh, 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 yes, I'm not. So since I have the meter, I'll get the wall supply. Oh, I didn't ah. get it. <laughs> <laughs> the wall supply combo. Ha! Ha! Fair enough, fair ha. enough. Ha! 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 This game also has burst gating, which is pretty wild. Uh, if you have the meter for Bloody Valor and know they're gonna burst, uh, you can Bloody Valor at the same time they burst and the Bloody Valor will win. Oh, so yeah. there is there is hard baiting bursts okay. as well. Which is pretty pretty crazy. Yeah. They might be close enough. So 50% is like 40% damage. <laughs> so I, I use the uh, projectile setup to create a block. I lost all my white balls. 
Yeah. So like there, uh, if you crack yourself without burst, it's very, very yeah, 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 yeah. tough. Mm -hmm. So that's why landing the regular combo is important. Oh, yeah. Burst all day, you've got all the free if you have 100 meter, like, you're, yeah. you're next take can potentially kill. Yeah. I'll, I'll do another round with Nui, because she has another character that's really complex. And she's also pretty complex. And then I think we'll uh, bring back Erica and sort of wrap up the show. Sure. Talking about doing some autographs as well. Oh, yeah, he was a, he's another uh, pretty complex character. I think he's very, very young right now. Yeah. <laughs> feel so bad. Like, ah. well, both of these characters benefit from Bloody Valor a lot. Okay, um, okay. So Nui works like Jin in Blaze Blue, where she's the only character with the X moves. Okay. So she has the ability to spend 25 meter and no one else does. And for Inamuta, uh, he sends out little data packets that when they land, he gets a character some resource. And then he can spend those on his uh, break attacks to extend So both of these characters have really high damage output once his animations are so good. So if I get hit by those uh, little cubes, you gain uh, ammo. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay. And then it spawns a little clone that it has. Yeah, my my dash is my dash is my teleport. Yes. So for Nui, uh, I can spend uh, like 25 meters and send out some clones. And the clones themselves are unblocked. So she has really, really dirty OP. So how do you fight the clones? You get to get out of the way. So for Ina uh, if he wants to cash out his resource, you want to use his break attacks. Uh, and it's a teleport that goes behind him. Uh, so it, it goes through some attacks, and then you can hit square to cash out his Or uh, hit, hit, hit circle after it connects. And it'll cash them out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you if you cash out three, a wall splat, and you get some extension. If he's a level one uniform, you can cash out five, and then you can topple anywhere on the screen. Um, you now have a ton of meter on the
Welcome back, everybody. Um, Just for the record, I don't like this guy. <laughs> uh, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, he was beating me up in the game. Uh, it's you... not fair. I, I worked on the game, so I played it a bit more. That means you need to, to, to practice yeah, on your on your Switch before, on you, get, on yeah, exactly. before you get to Evo, exactly. so you don't get beat up. Yeah. Uh, but hopefully you guys you learned a little bit about the game. Uh, be sure to tune in to our Evo stream. That's this weekend. It's our final Arc Rainbow stop uh, in North America, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and so this is the, the last chance to uh, compete if you aren't traveling outside of the country. Uh, and so we're going to have BB Tag as a main game. Right. Um, uh, Undernight and Birth EXE Latest is also a main game, which is very exciting. It's not on the Arc Rainbow World Tour, um, mm. but, but it's still, again, like, Arc System Works, you know. And, uh, and just one of the best community stories ever, Absolutely. You know, because yeah. it, it was one of those games that was like a small game, and then the community just kept working. It kept growing and growing. Mm. Evo added it to their main lineup over a thousand entrants this oh, year wow. for this. Which is a yeah. huge number for any uh -huh. like anime game, let alone, you know, one that, yeah. that had a niche audience before. Right. So I'm personally super, super stoked to watch <laughs> Undernight this weekend. It's going to be awesome. So make sure you guys tune in. Uh, in terms of anime Evo, we are collaborating with them to run some tournaments at our booth. And so, Blaze for Central Fiction, Guilty Gear, Exar Drive 2, and Kill a Kill If will all have tournaments at the Arc System Works booth. Uh, so you guys uh, would need to uh, sign up online already on the Anime Evo site. Uh, if you guys are signed up, best of luck. We will see you in a handful of days. Is that going to be mostly streaming on Arc System Works U? Or? Yes. Okay. Uh, so look forward to the stream schedule on our Twitter. Uh, it's going to be split between a couple of different streams because we have so many games going on at right. the same time. Uh, but we'll announce it on our Twitter exactly what's happening when, so you guys know how to tune in. I'll do a shameless plug for Ace King Offsuit as well. Oh, oh yes, yeah. absolutely. Ace King Offsuit on Twitter, he does all the best schedules for all the fighting game tournaments, and so it's like a one-stop shop absolutely. for all the tournaments. We definitely uh, owe a lot to our community. You guys do so much for us. Uh, we just put out a handful of videos as well. If you guys haven't got a chance to check those out, look on either our Twitter or our YouTube channel, uh, Arc System Works U. Uh, we have three spectators guides that were made by handful uh, members of the community. Okay. So uh, you probably recognize some of the names in there. Uh, we have one for BB Tag, one for CF, and one for Rev Two. I'm gonna go and grab um, some of those. They're yeah. <laughs> edited. They're edited and uh, produced by Baffo. Oh, uh, nice. Which is okay, super cool. Okay, okay. Uh, you probably know him from his uh, beautiful uh, uh, anime ascension meme yeah. of, of the, the Slayer and Chip yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. That's like my favorite thing. Um, Sammy Fish helped out with the uh, Guilty Gear one. Okay. Uh, Core Blue uh, did like uh, CF and B Tag. Okay. Uh, and so go and check those videos out. Uh, basically, entirely done by members of the community. Nice. Uh, we basically sponsored them and said, hey, we really like some of the work you guys have done. They did like a, a cross tag academy video series where they like okay. sort of broke down some stuff. Nice. Um, they're really, really good. So I encourage you guys to check them out. If you have a buddy that uh, maybe you want to show, uh, Central Fiction or Guilty Gear 2, but uh, they don't really understand how the game works. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just taking, basically taking small snippets of footage and saying, hey, let's explain this mechanic in a, in a way so that's easy to digest. Is there one for Kill a Kill If so I can watch it and <laughs> come back and beat you next time? <laughs> not, not yet, but that's definitely a good idea. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll keep okay. that in mind. All right. uh, we have new merchandise this weekend as well, nice. and so look forward to that. Uh, earlier, like we said, we have the Kill a Kill If limited editions, and so if you haven't gotten a chance to grab one, that's likely the last chance you'll get is at Evo. Um, we might put them back on our online store if we don't sell out of them, but we have such a limited quantity, the odds are kind of slim. You have the, the little Guilty Gear bags there? The Guilty Gear bags as well, oh, yes. Guess, the okay. Guilty Gear's uh, travel <laughs> case. If you didn't get a hold of that from our online store, I'm going to be poor. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you are. They're very yeah. cool. Uh -huh. They're like the, 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 like the leather, like the vinyl yeah, sort yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. It looks like uh, something that's sold wear. I have mm -hmm. one. I'm using it for my 3DS. I love it. So they're super cool. Make sure to check those out. And of course, lots of surprise announcements at Evo. Uh, be sure to watch all of our streams, to, to watch all of our top eights. Mm -hmm. Just saying. There okay, might be some cool okay. stuff on, on the horizon for you guys to check out. Anything that you can give me... Like, not on there. <laughs> after, the, after this is done, of course. You I know. mean... So I can flaunt the video, like, <laughs> I know something. You know. You're trying to be part of the Illuminati. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you have to wait till Sunday like everybody else. <sighs> uh, I didn't... Or did I say Sunday? I didn't yeah. say Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Watch oh. all weekend for all the exciting things. Uh, and then, of course, Arc Rave America, which is November 16th and 17th, is happening. Uh, so that's the culmination of our esports tournament. Uh, we've had the Arc River World Tour happening all year, so people have been competing nice. super hard. Uh, so that's coming up in the near future. Uh, so look forward to some more announcements about that during Evo as well. We'll have new info based on that. Uh, we have some beautiful tiny posters Yay. to give away to people in chat too. There. Oh, nice. Don't lose Don't your way. Lose Perfect. Your way. So nice. we're picking uh, people out of the chat to hand those posters out. 
Uh, so just go ahead and holler. Let's see if we can get the oh. ever so oh. elegant oh. method oh. of choosing this, winners. This just in. Yeah. The, this just in from our team. <laughs> from our man. From our guy. Uh, I'm Slayer, uh, Lee Ming X, and M Morsel uh, 017 are our first three winners. So congratulations yeah. to you guys. We'll okay. be getting one of these autographed kill a kill nice. posters. Yay. Yeah. How many more do you have? Oh, good question. Uh, one, two, three you're still looking for, and two? Yes, so two five more. total. So two more winners. So oh, go right, ahead, so while we're doing our shout outs, just go ahead and holler in chat. We'll be picking two more people for the end Actually, of the show. There's only, there's only one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Very subtle. Yeah, yeah, when there's a camera yeah, and a yeah, microphone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. So uh, as always, James, thank you for being uh, yeah, on course. the show. And thank you so much for coming out. It was a super pleasure to get to meet you and talk about all things Kill and Kill yeah. voice acting. Uh, is there anything you guys want to shout out or plug while you're here on the show? Oh, I uh, just keep playing the heck out of the game. Like, oh uh, man, I'm hoping eventually, like maybe some more will come out. Is yes. that even possible? <laughs> like, I don't even know. Cool. I, I, yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, I feel like this wouldn't have happened if it had not been for such, you know, all the support that the Kill a Kill fans mm -hmm. gave nice. uh, for the anime. So thank you so much. Like, keep supporting it. Cross my fingers. Because <laughs> <laughs> I want it. You want it. Awesome. Want to get back to more screaming and yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. I live to scream. For you yeah, yeah, yeah. I have yeah. a stockpile of honey and Chinese tea ready yeah, to go yeah, right. to uh -huh. protect uh -huh. my voice. Uh, James and I will be at Evo this weekend. That's so, right. uh, can you say what you're commentating this weekend? Uh, I will be commentating uh, Street Fighter. I'll be doing a little bit of the jump off as well. In Ooh. case you guys don't know, the jump off. So there's like nine main games at Evo, and the jump off is like. Uh, a collaboration stream where you have four people and we just watch all the different games. Mm -hmm. So that way if you're new to it, you can see all the different games, find out which ones you like. So I'll be doing that. I'll be doing a little bit of Samurai Showdown this oh, weekend Oh, very as nice. Well. So, yeah, excited all right. for that. Very exciting. Yeah. Then I think that's just the, uh, the, uh, that just about does it for this week. Uh, James and I are going to go uh, drive to LAX and hop on different planes <laughs> and fly to Locust yeah. Infested Vegas. And apparently <laughs> hail and flood And water. hail and flood, yeah, yeah. there's a flood warning. Yeah. Evo, Evo, in my head, has just like, the, the universe is out to get us, because my very first oh, Evo was the Evo where they had the firestorm on the freeway. Oh, yeah. So trying to get there, there was like a legit yeah, giant yeah. like uh -huh. fire tornado, and this year it's hail and locust, so all the plagues <laughs> are happening, but we'll be there with you guys as yeah. well. I, I, so, I, heard, I heard that's two out of the things that are like... I'm getting the nervous. Apocalypse, like, you know, I'm, I'm flood and locust. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do our best. Yeah. Uh, but cool. Thank you again so much for coming on the show. Yeah. It was it was great to meet you. Do we have two more winners to shout out before we head out? Oh, oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> Elegant delivery we're, system. We're you see that high here. budget system <laughs> here. Works. You know, exactly. Uh, our last two winners, Young Haterino and Akko One. You are the winners of the last two Yay. Kelly Cup boxes. So we're going to send out to you. Uh, give us a minute. I'm going to be in Vegas for a week. I know, so maybe right? give me a minute, but I will get them to you. Uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming on the show, and we will catch you at EO this weekend. Bye, Bye everybody.